When we learn about the heart, there is certainly a lot of physiology to cover. Uh, however, in this video, I'm going to focus on the anatomy of the heart. Now that said, I do have to go over a little bit of physiology and I'd like to do that in terms of blood flow. So the way that I like to approach this is showing you how blood flows through the heart. Uh, you could really start anywhere, but I like to start in one specific spot and you'll, you'll see that in a moment. Uh, one thing that I also want to point out and uh, makes it learning this a little bit easier is the fact that this model is color coded. You'll see blue, red, blue, red, blue down here. Now, of course, it's not like this in our bodies. Things are not color coded. Um, but it's nice to know that on this model, red represents where oxygenated blood is flowing and blue represents where deoxygenated or oxygen poor blood is flowing. Now keep in mind, arteries also carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood to the heart. But don't fall under the assumption that arteries are always carrying oxygenated blood and veins are always carrying deoxygenated blood. And although that may be the case in many areas in the body, right now I'm actually pointing at two arteries. This is an artery, the pulmonary trunk. This is an artery, the aorta. But notice one is carrying oxygenated blood, one is carrying deoxygenated blood. So get it out of your mind that veins always carry deoxygenated blood and arteries always carry oxygenated blood. You'll get things mixed up, especially when we talk about some of the great arteries and veins of the heart. Um, another thing to keep in mind is the heart has sides to it. Now what I mean by that is most of us understand that the atria are on top and the ventricles are below. But it's actually easy if you think of the heart as having a right side, which is what you see here, and a left side, which is what you see here. And the blood flowing through these chambers on the right side is deoxygenated blood. And the blood flowing through these chambers on the left side is oxygenated blood. So if I start right here at the superior vena cava, this blue tube-like structure at the top here. This is carrying deoxygenated blood, draining it from the top side of our body, our head, our neck, our chest, our arms. You probably cannot see it from this view, but there's also an inferior vena cava down here that's draining the lower side of your body of oxygen-poor blood. And that oxygen-poor blood goes into the right atrium, the right ventricle, passes up the pulmonary trunk, and then goes into a split of the left, that's what this is right here, left pulmonary artery. And on the other side, you cannot see it, it's behind the right pulmonary artery. This is an artery carrying deoxygenated blood. So pulmonary trunk, and here again here you see the left pulmonary artery, artery because it's going away from the heart. And where it's going to is a structure that you don't see right here, this would be the left lung. Of course, the right lung would be over here. The same thing is happening on this side. And what happens in the lungs? Well, we drop off carbon dioxide, we pick up oxygen, and we oxygenate that blood and send it back on these pulmonary veins. They are veins, but they are going back to the heart, and they are also carrying oxygen-rich blood. So these ones on this side here in red would be the left pulmonary veins. That brings, and there are of course, right pulmonary veins on the other side. Those four veins all lead into the left side of the heart. So we have left atrium. That oxygen rich blood then flows to the left ventricle and then goes up and out the aorta. There's an ascending aorta, there's the aortic arch, there's the descending aorta. And you'll see at the top of the aorta, we have these three tube-like structures that come off because we're starting to feed the rest of the body this oxygen-rich blood. And some of the first places we feed that oxygen-rich blood is through the brachiocephalic trunk, the left common carotid artery, and the left subclavian artery. Brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, and left subclavian artery. So if we look at the flow of blood up to this point, we have the superior vena cava, which leads deoxygenated blood into the 
right atrium, right ventricle, pulmonary trunk, out the pulmonary arteries. This is the left pulmonary artery that you see here. Into the lungs for gas exchange. Then on this side, again, remember it's the same on the opposite side, we have the left pulmonary veins, left atrium, oxygenated blood then goes into the left ventricle, and then comes up the aorta, brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery.